Okay, let me show y'all this bug. This is a WS6 Master Setup. Now, I've got an external speaker, but it may be hard for you to hear. It does exist with the remote as well. Okay, and let me say this up front. If you are going to use the Relic program or the GoField program on this version, now I may go in the house and I may go ahead and put 1.1 1 .1 and 100 in this WS6 and check it. And I may show a, a little video, give a little commentary. XP is aware of this. They're working on it. If you're going to use GoField in Relic modes on this version 2, I can say this with 1,000% certainty. You need to turn your machine on. Go to that mode that you're going to use, be it Relic or Goldfield. Go to the mode, turn the machine off, turn the machine back on, and set up your Goldfield or Relic program, and then use it. Do not transition out of it. And come back to it and expect the same performance. If you turn this machine on and it's in a different program, let's say it's in the sensitive program, for example, and you go to Goldfield and try to set it up or the Relic program, it won't perform correctly. Okay, so we've turned this thing on. It's in the Relic program. Okay. We're going to dial IR to 5. Back to sensitivity off to 90. Go to 40 kilohertz max band. Reactivity 2.5. We'll leave the audio response alone. Okay. And we'll hold that camera down there close. Iron tone. That's all you hear on that. Even cheating that call out here. Okay, now just for purposes to make this video real short. Maybe you can hear that again. You hear that iron tone? That's what's in there, trust me. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to transition to the dive program and go back. That's all I did. You hear that? Got an 86 in the meter. Now, iron tid is off in this video. If the iron tid wouldn't, if it was on, you'd be hearing that same signal right there. You'd be seeing a zero one in that meter. Remember what I said. If you're going to use the gold field or the relic program, if it's not in those programs at turn on, you need to put it there to one of those programs and then turn it off. Okay. I'll give you a demonstration here real quick. Okay, we'll go, we'll transition back here. There we go. We're in sensitive, there's sensitive FT right there. Okay, I'm gonna turn the machine off. All right, I turned it off. We're going to turn it back on. And it'll come into the program it was last used in. Okay. Okay, now all we're going to do now is we're going to say, oh, okay, so my machine came on in sensitive FT. I'm going to go hunt, and remember this applies to the goldfield, but I'll show the relic program. There's relic program, okay? So I'm going to dial IAR to 5, back to sensitivity off to 90, change the max frequency to 40, reactivity to 2.5, okay? And what do we get here? Hear that? Hear that audio? We shouldn't get that. We should be hearing iron tone there. Okay? Maybe you can hear that in that camera. See that meter? That's improper ops. So if I would have turned this machine, now if I turn it off,
I turned it off in the Relic program. We'll turn it back on real quick. Okay. This applies to the gold field too. Just remember that. So now we're going to come up in the Relic program. Okay. We're going to Dial IAR to 5, back to sensitivity off to 90, change the max frequency to 40, change the reactivity to 2.5. Alright, now what do we get? You hear that? Iron tone. Now if I turn over here, we'll get the tone we should get, okay? Down the barrel, iron tone. Rotate, non-ferrous signal. All right, hope you enjoyed.